Good afternoon from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Friday. It's about 75 degrees, sunny, and a slight breeze. I did not do any filming yesterday, but it was just about the same beautiful weather yesterday. Yesterday was one of those days that I just didn't have it, but I wish I did. It was perfect outside. I did get some weed eating done yesterday, but uh, uh, mostly just my regular old chores. I just wasn't feeling it yesterday. Uh, and not, not much this morning either. I did last night, I moved five hens from one flock to another flock. So let's go take a look at that. Yep, up here in this front flock with the brown tarp, I took uh, five hens out of there and I put them in that back flock, that's wild berries flock, and um, yeah, my other two flocks over there. But yeah, these are, the Welsomers are growing out here. Anyway, uh, let's go take a look at uh, wild berries, five new hens. Good afternoon, wild berry. Good afternoon. Um, before last night, what I had in here were... Uh, that's a Whiting True Blue, and that's an Olivager. I had four Whiting True Blues, and I had three Olivagers. Two Olivagers kind of look like that, and the other one is Mrs. B. So there were seven hens in here um, yesterday, and today there are 12. This is a, a Welsomer Pullet, not, has not started has not started laying eggs yet. I hatched these in May and there were three Welsomer pullets, three Welsomer girls, and so I moved uh, all three of them in here. And then the other two I moved in here were Olivagers. Are you, no, that's Mrs. B. Yep, that's Mrs. B. And I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta look at them up close. I think that's a well, oh, yep, 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 yeah. See, they're establishing a little pecking order. But yeah, so I moved five of them in here because I'm getting ready to move a flock into the front yard. And uh, so just gotta do a sh little bit of shuffling around. That's a Welsomer pullet. They are, yeah, they're hatched in May, so they're I don't know, maybe a month away from starting to lay eggs. So, all right. Wild Berry now has 12 hens. Let's see, I've got five Olivagers. And the Olivagers are uh, Walter the Welsomer, my very first rooster, is, uh, is their father. Yep, that's Mrs. B, Walter the Welsomer, my first rooster, was her father. And the mothers of these five Olivagers are my white and true blue hens, um, my original ones. Mary Tyler Moore, Carol Burnett, and Private Benjamin. Private Benjamin is the one with a little uh, sideburns going on. So I would bet that Private Benjamin is her mother. So yeah, there are five Olivagers in here. There are four white and true blues. Uh, yeah, there's one of them. And these are uh, four of the white and true blues that I got from Murray McMurray Hatchery last October. So there, you're almost a year old there, little girl. So there are no now four, well, there are still four white and true blues. And then also the three, she's one of them, three Welsomers. So five Olivagers. Four Whiting True Blues and three Welsomers. And Wild Berry, the Welsomer Rooster. So, if I hatch the Whiting True Blues eggs, they would be olive eggers. Mm -hmm. If I hatch the Welsomers eggs, they would be full blooded Welsomers. And if I hatch the olive eggers eggs, they would be um, an olive acre back cross to a Welsomer, so they would have a 50-50 chance of laying a uh, darker green egg and a 50% chance of laying a brown egg like a Welsomer. So yeah, we will, um, I'll be hatching some eggs out of here at some point. No plans yet. I'm uh, 
still going for the white and true blues right now. And back to this front coop. This is the coop that I would like to move to my front yard and then uh, move a flock in there. But uh, I've got to <laughs> got to move some stuff out of the way uh, before I can do that. So I'll be working on that uh, probably this weekend. But yeah, I'm gonna I want to move this coop out of the way, and then hopefully I've got enough time to uh, throw some seeds down in here and uh, get them started. And then, uh, then next, uh, well, next spring, when I move the coops out of the future back to Eden Garden, then I can uh, move one of those coops into this area, so I'd have a flock here again. But I want to give it a rest and uh, let it recuperate over the winter. And then uh, when I need those that wood chipped area back here. When I need that to start planting in, I can move one of those coops into this area. But that one, I want to move to the front yard, which is already, I've already got the electric fence up, and that's where number two and her babies are. So, and then uh, the spring, I'll be moving, well, that's this spring. I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Yeah, you see all those, uh, Round white things, those are those are mushrooms. I don't know, I don't know my mushrooms. I won't be eating them, I promise. But yeah, there's a good dozen of them at least in this patch back here. There this was part of a chicken run, but now that I moved the chickens off, I guess it's giving those mushrooms a a chance to grow and develop but yeah those mushrooms are they're turning all these wood chips into good soil yeah the the rooster agrees with me and I've still got two patches of these mushrooms these are in between uh, wild berries flock and uh, the original whiting true blue hens flock yeah and once again they are they are helping turn all these wood chips into really good soil. I've got one lonely little cosmos out here that I uh, that I was lucky enough that I didn't weed eat. <laughs> I tried to go around it pretty good, but yeah, one little one more little cosmos, and I'm just I'm not going to chop it down yet. It's still producing seeds for next year, right, Fifi? I know what I'm doing, right, Fifi?
I saw four deer, at least four deer, across the lane uh, back there towards that tree. So that's like, I don't know, it might be a hundred yards away. But yeah, it, it was after dark and I was just happened to be shining my flashlight in that direction and I caught the glare of their eyes. And so um, I've got this spotlight flashlight. So I went in and grabbed it and then I saw four sets of eyes. And I thought I saw another one, not positive, but yeah, there were four deer over there. I'm not prepared for, you know, deer hunting or processing a deer or any of that stuff, but there were four deer over there. So that happened the other day. Yeah. Bob versus the grasshopper. The grasshopper was fine. Uh, Bob got his claw stuck in there for a brief second, but yeah, Bob versus the, the grasshopper, but it was the screen door that lost. Grumpy's lounging on the back steps today. Oh, what's up, Fifi? Fifi might want to go in for a snack. Where's Bob? He's probably inside lying on my bed, isn't he? I left the door cracked open. Well, at least you're not on my bed today, Bob. Is this what happens when I leave my, uh, my door open? You just come in here and nap? Alright, Bob. Guess that's going to be all for this Friday. I didn't do any more filming. I've uh, emptying buckets, cleaning out buckets, uh, scrubbed out the waterers and some of the feed bowls, and just uh, little chores that needed to be done, and it was a good, good day to get caught up on that. Watched uh, Bob and Fifi. Uh, man, they were playing up a storm. Grumpy, I have no idea where Grumpy's at. Bob was in there sleeping on the chair, and Grumpy just walks out the door. I'm, I've been keeping the door open. Well, yeah, you can see. So Grumpy, the past two nights, he's just kind of wandered off. Wandered right back, you know, later tonight. Later that night. We'll see about tonight. Last night, he was on top of my truck. I don't know what's going on with these cats. <laughs> They're digging this, uh, digging this weather just as much as I am. So, all right, enough of that. Thank you for watching. I hope everybody had a peaceful week and that you have a glorious weekend with weather as perfect as I'm having. So with that, take her easy, everybody. Good night, Fifi. Good night, Grumpy. Good night, Bob. Although you're going to have to move when I go, good night.